Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Sever Engineers YouTube channel. And the series of construction cost of house step by step today I will guide you how to do foundation layout. If you have a simple house plan, so there you need a person who can do the foundation layout. So how much money you can pay them or what should be the price of foundation layout to that person who is doing the uh, foundation layout for you or if you designed a house plan by architecture so this is the work of architecture to do foundation layout for your house okay this is the work of architecture but if you have a simple house plan so there you need a person who has a good experience for this work foundation layout work okay so a normal person cannot do the foundation layout so there you need a person who has more experience so they can provide this work okay now I will guide you how to do foundation layout okay as you can see guys we have in this side uh, we have a column one column two column three column four okay so for example this is uh, a drawing maybe for shops or maybe for house okay just I will guide you how to do foundation layout first of all guys we required size of column for example size of the column is here 12 by 12 inches 12 by 12 inches so how you can do its foundation layout especially for the column marking okay for example guys the distance the internal distance between two column is for example from here just a second from here to here just internal this for example if I have this length for example if I have 16 feet okay this is just example if the internal distance is 16 feet so by center line method how we can do its layout as you know guys the size of the column is 12 inches so half of the column becomes 6 inch this point 6 inches and also this is also 6 inches so it become 12 inches so guys if we have this length internal length 16 feet house plan not the uh, layout plan okay so the next one for example I have this one this one internal for example if this is 9 feet okay and this is also for example 9 feet okay and here this length is internal length is our clear length of uh, two column is for example 10 feet this is also 10 feet this is also 10 feet okay same we uh, we have 16 feet okay from here to this point okay without the columns so how we can do so guys first of all you need to get one from the center line you will do the marking on this point okay and I need now marking for the center line especially for the columns okay size of the column is 12 inches so guys from this center from this center okay we will the actual length which is 16 feet then we will add 12 inches we will add okay so as you can see guys the column size is how much 12 inches but here from this center okay or if this is boundary wall for example guys if this is boundary wall column this one so what should you do on that time so from that point guys you will keep from that point okay so guys you will keep from that point you will add 12 plus 6 inches okay because the column size is 6 inches so here guys as you know we have 6 inches here and this point 6 inches then from this center to this center the column center so from one column center to other column center we will do the marking so then actual length which is 16 feet plus 12 inches so it will become 17 feet okay so after the center okay from the center but if from the boundary wall you have the first column so the first column 
from the start of the column or from the boundary wall you will keep 16 feet 17 feet and 6 inches because from this center to this center as you know guys this the half column this is 6 inches also this is 6 inches okay so actual length is 16 feet so 6 plus 6 so it become 12 inches so here we should do the marking on the 17 feet this is 17 feet so here we will do the marking here on this point again if we keep the clear distance 9 feet so then we will take the other measurement to this center again we will do the measurement not 9 feet because 9 feet is the clear distance between two columns but we will keep 6 inches here and 6 inches here 6 inches okay both sides so we will keep the 10 feet like this so this distance should be to the center it should be 10 feet so by this method so if you have again 9 feet so from one center to other center we will keep again 10 feet so if this is 11 feet then we will keep 12 feet same with this procedure okay now guys as you know here we have center this one okay and also this center this is 6 inches 6 inches so from this point to this point we will keep the distance 11 feet so that should be the center of the column okay again we have 10 feet so from this point to this point we will keep 11 feet so the clear distance between two columns should become 10 feet okay for example guys if i have this distance again 10 feet okay so from this center to this center we will keep 11 feet that's why because column of the size uh, this the column size is 12 inches so this side 6 inches should be include and also this one so it will become this is 10 feet so 10 feet plus this side 6 inches and this side 6 inches so it be it will become 11 feet like this so guys this is the procedure by which you can find the center line for the column easily on site now guys if you have the size of the footing for this column for example if you have four feet okay so the footing size is for example four feet this side four feet and this side four feet now what should you do so here from this center guys from this center okay so you will go to this side two feet and this side two feet then again two feet to this side and two feet to this side from this center so it will become the footing it should become the size of the footing same like this as you can see guys okay so this is the footing size as you can see this is very simple guys if you have nine inch thickness of the column and the clear distance is for example how much for example we have eight feet okay so size of the column is nine inches okay so 9 feet plus 9 inch should be 8 from the center so from this center to this center you will keep if you require the 8 feet so you will keep 9 feet sorry not 9 feet so 9 feet plus 9 uh, 8 feet plus 9 inch so it will become 8 feet 9 inch okay for example if the size of the column is how much 2 feet so from one center to other center clear distance plus 2 feet then you will find the one column center to the other column center you will find the clear distance that should be for example if you require 16 feet and size of the column is 2 feet so you need to take from one center to other center you should measure 18 feet okay then you will get the clear distance between two columns 16 feet that's why because column of the size is 2 feet so the center become 1 feet other side is also one fit the column half become one and one fit so one plus one two and the clear distance is 16 feet so you will keep the distance measurement from one column center to other column center 18 feet okay so the full column size should be included but the first column from here if from the boundary wall you you need to the other column center then size the six inch should be increased as you know 16 feet the clear distance so here guys from this center to this center it will become 17 feet okay but if you have the boundary wall so 17 feet and 6 inches should be measured from the boundary wall 
limit from the other column center so guys this is the method so you can find from one column center to other other column center so this is called a column layout marking method easily so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment now what should be the price of the who can do this management on site so i have a teamwork okay i'm not telling you that uh, do the work by me because uh, i'm from pakistan and you are uh, you belong from different countries so especially in pakistan we get about eight thousand for layout okay for the normal house layout we take our our charges are just eight thousand rupees okay but if you have a design by architecture or if you want to do design by me for example so the layout should be done by architecture designer okay but if you have if you have a simple house plan and if you have a plan and you don't have an engineer or if you don't have architecture so you can provide a person by eight thousand rupees okay but with architecture designing structure anything so it should become uh, it should be done by architecture so you will not pay to the architecture because this is the rules regulation of architecture and house planning system so guys this is a topic which i have discussed the front of you how to do foundation layout with easy method so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye